Hey everybody, thanks for staying connected. Now, Laurent Duvernay-Tardif is one of the most highly sought after draft picks in professional football. Tardif is also on top of his game as a full-time medical student at McGill. Now, last week, Tardif was the center of attention as scouts from both sides of the border put him through the paces here in Montreal. Kelly Gregg was there and gives us the score. He's strong. He's agile and he's putting Canadian football on the map. It's not often that a CIS football player attracts attention from both sides of the border, but McGill offensive tackle Laurent Duvernay-Tardif has four CFL teams and nine NFL teams all here in Montreal to vie for his attention. You kind of imagine like all the resources that NFL teams have to come in Montreal to watch like a prospect that kind of nobody heard about. It's kind of impressive for sure. This is actually my first time coming up to Canada to scout a, scout a player. So it's nice, nice to come up here, a um, little refreshing, something new. When I was at home last night, my wife was like, uh, aren't you nervous for tomorrow? And I said no. And then when I came in and I saw everybody setting up, I was like, wow, this is way bigger than I thought it would be. So, so yeah, I've never seen anything like it. He's probably my, uh, the best player I've coached uh, in my 15 years in the CIS. Well, I've been covering Canadian football since 1997. I can't remember a guy from Canada not only having a pro day in Montreal, but so many NFL teams. There were a good eight to 10 NFL teams who were up here today for his pro day. This is virtually unheard of. At six foot five and just shy of 300 pounds, he's attracting attention because of his raw talent rather than his technique. He's only been an offensive tackle for two years, and because of his intense academic load as a medical student, he can only practice once per week. That means he's still a work in progress. I still have a lot to learn, and I'm pretty coachable, so I'm going to learn those techniques pretty fast, I think, and I'm going to be able to develop myself in the kind of player that the teams want. I think I'm a good project for a team. He's a raw kid, but you can teach. You can teach skills. You can teach finesse, things like that, to a player the things that he'll need to do to learn to play his position. He, as long as you have that God-given athleticism and, and, and the willpower and the brains, you can make it. He's a classic overachiever. Uh, he's a perfectionist. Um, he's not a guy, it doesn't come supernatural. People may think that way, uh, but he works extremely hard at everything he does. And those are what we call intangibles uh, in the scouting business. So his intangibles are almost off the chart. Um, they are off the chart when you're talking about a kid who went to an Ivy League type school at McGill, uh, which is hard enough to get into playing football, jugg juggling a football career, as well as a med school career. So I mean, that just speaks to his character. And while he's excellent at dealing with the pressures on the field, all the attention can still be a little overwhelming for the 23-year-old. Yes, <laughs> of course. Like, I've, I was in the States training with guys who like, know they're going to be in the NFL. And I was also training with guys who were training for their offseason and are right now in the NFL. And I mean, it's a completely different lifestyle, world. Everything's different. And of course, sometimes I'm like, is it real? And yeah, it's real. So I mean, just enjoy it. Duvernay Tardif has a fallback plan that any athlete would envy. If football doesn't work out, he can always rely on his medical career. But for now, he's leaving behind the lab coat for a jersey. I'm going to put medicine on hold for a couple of years to play football, whether it's going to be NFL or CFL. So if it doesn't work in the NFL, for sure, I would love to play in the, in the CFL for a couple of years before going back to med school. The NFL Draft takes place on May 8th to 10th at Radio City Music Hall in New York City.